Listen, coming off a big win for us against UMass, uh, coming back from the road trip, I thought was huge. I thought we were ready to play. I thought we played a pretty complete game um, from the goalie on out. So really happy with our performance versus UMass. Um, Cornell is going to be a, a, a tough matchup. They're, they're a really solid team, a lot of structure. They're a big, heavy team. So it's going to be a challenge for us. Um, so we're we'll, looking forward to tomorrow. Caroline, go ahead. Coach, you've played most of your games against Cornell at MSG, typically with a larger Cornell audience. So can you talk a little bit about playing kind of on home ice with BU fans back in the stadium? Yeah, I think it'll be it'll be fun to to, to play them at home. Um, you know, I I only experienced the one time down at uh, Madison Square Garden, but they definitely had uh, you know a nice crowd there. So hopefully, you know, we can start the game on time tomorrow and get the fans into it and play our game because um, they're tough. They don't give up a lot, so we're gonna have to make sure that you know we're we're on top of our game and, and we're playing with pace. Rick, go ahead. Continuing on that vein. Uh... Given Cornell's long established style under Mike uh, Schaefer, do you expect them to try to negate BU's speed as Michigan Tech uh, did in the desert? Uh, what can BU do to negate them? Yeah, I, I think they're going to play, uh, they play a similar style to, to Michigan Tech. Um, I thought we started really slow against Michigan, Michigan Tech. I thought that was a big problem for us. So I think we need to. Make sure we're ready to start from a to, from the drop of the puck. Uh, I think that's going to be the biggest thing, and and I, I don't think we can be stubborn against them. I I think we're going to have to make sure that you know we put pucks behind them and go to work. You know I don't think we can think we're going to be getting odd man rushes uh, against this team. Um, they have really good structure. They're going to have four and five guys back. They work. Uh, they have good sticks. They protect the middle of the ice. So we can't expect an easy game and an up and down game either. Uh, Caroline, go ahead. And do you have any update on Jamie Armstrong if he'll be back this weekend? He will not be back um, tomorrow. He actually ended up getting sick too yesterday, so that um, held him off the ice. Um, he's starting to feel a little bit better, um, but he, he he didn't get on the ice even today, so he won't be available tomorrow. Rick, go ahead. Uh, right now your team's offense is number four nationally with 3.9 goals a game, number two in shots with 36.6. And plus, the scoring is pretty evenly balanced, which is great. But besides uh, what you're looking for, more power play production, what else are you trying to accomplish on offense? Yeah, I think we, like for us, uh, you know, we feel that if we can just keep sustained pressure in the offensive zone, it uh, wears teams down. And, and you know, they, they can't sustain anything in our end. I, I think that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to continue to, uh, like for, for UMass the other night, we had a lot of ozone uh, possession and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to possess pucks and, and um, get to the net when it's time to get to the net. When it's your turn, we tell, tell all our guys, you know, we have different, like everyone's built different, right? You have bigger guys, smaller guys, but when it's your turn to get to the net, we want our guys going to the net and, and uh, the guys are buying into it and it, it's, it's paying off for us. And we've, we've had some balanced scoring this year. Um, you know, I, I don't, we still don't have a guy in double digits with goals. So it's up and down our lineup. We're getting uh, production.